Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy 1, Dawn of Souls. Um, last time, we did the Earth Cavern after buying everything we needed. I uh, really hate this place, so I'm just gonna fight this guy. He's a bat, but if we talk to him, he's a vampire. This is when vampires were cool. All things in this world are destined to end in death. The seal cannot be broken, and so the Earth shall rot. And he turns into a vampire. You cannot alter destiny. Mere mortals cannot kill the undying. If only I had a wooden stake. I think his sprite animation looks badass for a vampire. Like, when I think of vampire, this is what I expect to see. Not some sparkling disco ball. And actually, I believe he's actually affected by... Dia, since he is an undead enemy. But we'll worry about that later. Let's cast haste on Haseo. Oh, he has gaze. He can paralyze people. Alright, well then it looks like Guy's not getting any battle time. Unless his paralyzation... Oh, 12 hits. Nine. Wow! We took him out in one... Two attacks. Technically, two attacks. Dia did like 50 damage, and all of a sudden Haseo did a 12 hit for like 300 and something damage. Sorry. Two attacks and he's dead. OP is OP. Alright, here we get... The Star Ruby. Now, it's unclear what we're supposed to do with the Star Ruby, because I actually didn't go talk to the, uh... The guy who tells us what to do with this Ruby. But, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now what we're gonna do with it. Oh, wait. A stone slab is set in the floor, and evil force seems to emanate from within. We'll be back for that later. But for right now, we act they actually make us travel all the way back. Sometimes I wish I had teleport. But nope. Chuck Kitty Testa. And I hear a car outside. All right, now here's the annoying part. Annoying, annoying part. Annoying part. <laughs> we actually have to find our way out of the dungeon. Normally, you would fall, you would, you know, trace your steps, but when it's a multi-floor dungeon, it's hard to do that just because you forget which floors you take. That's why I think that why I hated the Sylph Co. and Pokemon Red, just because it's like, what was it 13 or? 11 floors of just, hey, you're gonna get lost. <laughs> Hated that place so much. I mean, I like to victory road. Wow, we failed to run away from Pisco demons. You know, I wish someone would actually edit the text in this game to replace the P with a D. That'd be awesome to see. It's like Disco Demons. They're gonna attack with style. And then they just shoot laser beams out of their scepters. Which ironically has a disco ball on it. I hate not... I hate forgetting where I'm going. I'm already lost. At least we could run away from mummies. Thank goodness. Alright, that's a dead end. So, go down here. Please tell me you are the way I need to go. Please. Please? Are you? Oh, hey, look, a chest. Gold needles. Just in case you ever run into the most hated enemy in Final Fantasy history, the cockatrices. Why? Because, again, like I said before last episode, any monster that gives a status effect when hit by it is annoying. Cockatrices are no exception. They can induce uh, petrification when you are hit by them which is horrible, and gas and white are horrible as well because they can paralyze, as we just saw. Alright, we're, we're back on floor two of the cavern of Earth. We're good. We're, we're, we're still alive. Um, sadly, though, we cannot have our cake and eat it at the same time because that would just be wrong and a lie. And we're getting hit by gargoyles. I have actually not had any paralyzing effects by gargoyles yet, so maybe I am wrong on that part. 
but it is better safe than sorry. My memory seems to remember gargoyles paralyzing me, and I'm sticking to it. Minotaurs, you are worth fighting because you drop a good amount of gold, I believe. And plus, we just take one hit. Yeah, one enemy is four is about 500 gold. Yeah, that's totally worth it. Ogre chiefs are somewhat worth it. I'll f, f this button. It's time to see fire in action. Oh, and there's not going to be any enemies left. We're going to kill them all. Oh, no. Fire Yes, just summon a giant fiery inferno to kill everything. 1,200 gold. I'll take it. Oh. No, I don't want to fight war wolves, werewolves, any wolves. The only wolves I probably want to fight are ice wolves, just because they can drop ice shields. <laughs> which are cool. Ah. I see what I did there. I didn't even mean to do it too, I just caught myself, like, at the end of it. And I think the cat just fell off the bed. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny thing, um... Girlfriend's cat's at my house. Very troublemaker cat. More trouble... It, it, he's like having a kid. No, no, in like the first two weeks he was here, first month he was here, he chew through $60 turtle beaches through the wiring. Yeah, that, that ought to make it on my shit list. But, you no, know, he didn't know any better. Can't hate him for it. I can just strongly disdain him. My girlfriend did give me hers in replacement. She's trying to fix the current ones, and I just wish her good luck with that. And we're back in Malmond. I don't like how there's a cobweb or spider web right near the entrance of the inn. I thought inns were supposed to be homey, and hey, look at that buggy, you know, wall up there. That's always fun to see. I don't know what's wrong with graphical glitches like that, but it happens. We're just gonna try to ignore it. Alright. Now, I believe one of these guys. Earth kiss remains glow, life will turn again. Alright, who tells us? The vampire is dead, yet the earth is still decaying. What's going on? Could something else be causing it? Ah, story. The vampire is dead, yes. Blah, 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 blah. If the earth kisses remains glow. I believe I just talked to you. I don't know why I'm doing that. Yes, for the Warriors of Light. Restore the Crystals of Grace. We're working on it. The giant living in the cave eats rocks. He'll eat just about any kind of rock. But I hear especially likes gems. He can't get enough of them. And isn't it funny that we just defeated a vampire and got a star ruby. Ruby being a gem. Adding two and two together to get seven right now. I believe we have to go talk to the giant. <laughs> and by seven, I mean just go to the cave. It's my story, and I'm making it what I want. You know what I think this game is missing? Bows and arrows. Final Fantasy... Ooh, Lesser Tiger. Final Fantasy uh, 2, you actually get bows and arrows, which are amazing. I, I love the bow and arrows in Final Fantasy 2. They're not that great, but just for the fact that you actually have them. And some of them are actually pretty decent, like the killer bow and the poison bow. Those are fun. Also in Fire Emblem, bows are nice. Alright, back in the giant's cave. Oh! More wolves. Oh no, a wolves doing one damage to me. How could this be? And we can't run away from a pack of wolves, really? Yes, we can. We're that fast. In high level. I don't know what this guy's doing. It looks like he's just running into these rocks, doing nothing. Either that or he's exercising by walking in place. Or he's doing two-step. Let's talk to him. You have Star Ruby? I have correct grammar. Give me Star Ruby and I let you pass. Again, correct grammar. And we give him the Ruby and wow! Really bad glitching of the floor. 
Crunch Munch, mm, nothing tastier than rubies. Damn straight, I eat rubies all day. It's very highly nutritious. And we nod, similarly we can go further. I don't think there's anything down here. Oh wait, there's a room down here. Aha, I believe actually this one actually has a great axe in a treasure chest. Which is funny because we don't need it anymore. Either that or it's a great helm. I remember it being something great. And great as a name, not statistics wise. Hey look, a great axe. I was right. 620 gil, 450 gil, and mithril helm. So we got a better helmet. I believe, no, I think mithril is just, well, no, it's, it's better. And we got a great axe, but we don't need it anymore, because I got one in the drop from Grinding Island. Uh, order your tickets online now for Grinding Island. Oh. I hate running into wolves, especially lower level wolves. Because they're just annoying. Doing one damage at a time, they always go first because I guess they're faster because they're wolves. Wolves are annoying. The only wolves I like are the ones in Minecraft because I can defend them and accidentally hit them when I try to open my door. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I'd never cry over like a pet on a video game. And here we are in the Sage's Cave. That's really fun to say over and over again. Sage's Cave, Sage's Cave, Sage's Cave, Save, 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 Save the Cage. Alright, and we just got a bunch of pot and urns here that we really can't do anything with. Uh, that room exists for what reason? I do, do not know. And this is the only other door. We go in here, and anything in here? No. But there's this old guy right here. Jumping up and down. Jump around. All right. His name is Sada. So you were the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? But he was only a servant. The beast corrupting the evil crystal lurks far deeper within the cavern. Here, take this staff with you and use it behind the vampire's chamber. And we raise it up in the air and we attain the earth rod. We actually cannot equip this earth rod. It's just a key item. It's helped us to get further into the earth, earth cavern, which is annoying. So we actually have to go all the way back to the earth cavern to actually use it. I'm not going to make you go through that, even though I will. Uh, consider me merciful, because... Hopefully this is the last time that we actually have to go through the Earth Cavern, unless I forget something really important, with which I really hope I don't. Oh. Nine zombies. There are nine zombies in this picture right now. Ah, ah, ah. And I hope they don't... Damn it! They paralyzed. Every time I think of the word paralyzed, I think of that song by the Outcast. <laughs> just because it's just a really funny song, even though it's actually meant to be a actual song. It's funny. I, it, it's funny, because I don't consider comedy songs to be actually music, even though it's, you know, a song. I just find it to be like a comedy skit. Like Lonely Island, I don't consider them to be that much of a music group. I consider them to be a comedy group. Um... It's funny, because my favorite stand-up comedian, Dimitri Martin, does, like, stand-up music, but it's also stand-up comedy. It's a fine line, but... I don't know. I don't know how I got to random comedy music. I think it was talking about... Evidently, I'm really tired, or I'm just really forgetting everything today. I got on a subject... Two minutes later, I forget what I was talking about. My life is average. Um, so we're back in Melmond. In the next episode, we are actually going to go back. I'll meet you back in the Earth Cavern, back in the Vampire's Room. So you don't have to deal with that. And we'll continue on with the Earth, Earth in Cavern. Cavern of Earth. There. It is Captain Planet. 
Alright, this has been Sarah Roxas saying, see you in the next one.